But I, I, it's, it's more and more every day I'm convinced. The Lakers made a mistake bringing LeBron James. Stop in. it! All right. Of course, on Saturday, the Lakers essentially nullified what was a great win over the Houston oh, Rockets. Oh, you're saying that they nullified it? I keep it real. See, I'm not just, I'm going to kill LeBron no matter what. Who or says? I'm going to kill Tom Brady no. no matter what. I keep it real. And it was a great victory over the Houston Rockets. And then they just, yeah, you nullified it. That's a game people didn't expect you to win. So you get it. And then now you basically just. And the game you were matter. supposed You're to right. win. You, you lose. So so it's like if you had lost to Houston and then beat New Orleans. It, it's This is the problem. Even bigger, Chris. And I hear you. But when you talk about the Pelicans on the second end of a back-to-back right, right. and no AD, right. I'm sorry. I, I don't care what you want to tell me as an excuse. There There's is no, no ex- way no you can lose that game. No There's way. There's no excuse. There's no, no AD? Excuse whatsoever. What, what, what were you thinking? No. There's, there's right? no excuse. Then I mean, you're right. There, there's when you saw the score, what no you think? Excuse. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe because I didn't. I watched it last night on the tape. Right. But I, you know, I was keeping tabs on it Saturday night. I was shocked. And Vegas looked up at the score. Yeah. I was stunned. I couldn't believe it. I was like, they are about to lose to the Pelicans, and AD didn't even play. Even if he were playing, I mean, that's you are no, playing right. for something. You are playing to make the playoffs. The and Pelicans you know how- aren't playing for anything. Even if they are, it's just pride. Cause they're they're mad because their top player wants to leave. You gotta you gotta be better than that. I'm sorry. And so uh, LeBron was not happy. He was ups- upset as upset as the Lakers fans are. And here's what he had to say about some of his teammates. When you don't really, when you've never been there or, or know what it takes to actually, you know, you know, shoot for something like that, and sometimes you're afraid to get uncomfortable. You know, so you gotta be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You said it. Well, go ahead. You said he drew a line in the sand, and I agree. Yeah, basically, when you start talking about them and uh, and we and you know what I well, mean, them and they the, instead right. of we and instead us. Of, it just should be we or us. We're not what sense of urgency. And I'm going to tell you, Chris. Well, what he said, I get in that moment. He shouldn't have even brought that up. He said how he was asked. Why don't the players have more of a sense of urgency with the playoffs on the no, line? No, I get that. And he right. said. Well, how do they know, you know, what they're missing out on? Well, I, to paraphrase him, when they've never been there. Here's what I say f- before you get started. First of all, Rajon Rondo has a championship at your expense. They beat you and then got to the finals and won. JaVale McGee has two championships at your expense. They beat you twice in the finals. Uh... Lance Stevenson has been deep in the playoffs mm-hmm. with Indiana. Uh, oh, Tyson Chandler. Right. Tyson Ch- again, at LeBron's expense. Dallas. They beat him in 2011. And so you're, you're basically talking about Brandon Ingram and Kyle Kuzma. And Ingram had 29 points on 10 of 18 shooting. He wasn't really bad. I'm not saying he was perfect, but that's a good game. You'll take that if you can get that from Brandon Ingram. And Kyle Kuzma has 16 points. Eight rebounds, seven assists on seven of 14 shooting. So who are you talking about? That's my point. Like, this was not the night to call your players out. And and first, first of all, like I said, most of the roster, a lot of the roster of veterans do know what the playoffs are like. Secondly, it's the playoffs. You're not talking about somebody getting to the finals. I mean, I I, I get that none of these young guys have been there. But still, it's just making the playoffs. I think they want to make the playoffs. And I get LeBron, you know, they've he's felt like they've gotten used to the losing. And he'll never get used to the losing. But Lonzo, Kuzma's been there one year. I mean, I don't know how, if he's gotten that used to it. He's been right. there one year. It's not five years. Right. right. Ingram's been there two years. Right. I mean, it's their third. So, I just, I, and look, I've def- I defend LeBron a lot, but there was no defending this. You should not have separated yourself from the team on a night like this when offensively everything was fine. You guys scored 115 points. You had 33 assists. And you shot two of six from the free throw line. And then the problem was defense. You guys gave up 128 points, 54% shooting. And LeBron, as great as he is, defensively he's not great anymore. 
Whether it's just he can't do it or he doesn't try. Or he doesn't want to do but it. But he, no, he is a part of the defensive problems, and here's the proof. Before he got injured on Christmas Day, they were 10th in the league defensively. When he was gone during that 18, 17-game stretch, they were actually 7th in the league during that stretch. Defensively, they couldn't score without him, so you need him, obviously. But defensively, they were actually better. And then since he's been back, they're 25th in the league in defense. I'm and surprised that's been they're that problem. high. That's how bad they are. I mean, they gave up what? All the points, 140 Remember. to Philly, 100. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's not exact, but, but 130 but, to Indiana. And then it was 130 about that. to Pelican. Yeah, yeah it was. it's the defense. Here's my, here's my issue with, first of all, even LeBron coming up with that cockamamie uh, declaration about the rest of the team. That's what you signed up for when you came here. Come on, no dude. Doubt. Don't act like this is brand new. You came here knowing that you didn't have a – LeBron never – brought in veterans. That's why yes. they brought in veterans. All yeah. right? He knew what he had here. Yep. So don't act all surprised and brand new. Oh, wow. G- gee whiz. I can't <laughs> believe they don't know what they're doing. Or And, and, and all of those guys aren't, aren't the reason why, as you, as you pointed out. Um, so it's LeBron being LeBron, which I always say when you win, it's always about him being the goat. And when you lose, it's about everybody else being the scapegoat. And, and that, he, that's what just, LeBron, that's what he does. too good to blame. Like uh, there are times when it's your teammates and let's keep it real. Kobe Bryant, when he wanted to be traded, no, it was I, because no he felt like I, I need help. Y'all not getting me help. Michael Jordan early in his career there were times he went to management. We need help. Get me some help. So LeBron is not unique in this. And I don't know if it's just more coverage or he does do it more often than, than others. But it's beginning to be this narrative of, like you, you said, I mean, and a lot of people feel that way, just blaming your supporting no, cast no matter, no, what, matter what. no matter what. And it's just not, again, he is too good for this. And and here's the other part, Chris. Just think about this. And I'm I'm not taking away the two games that they won since he came back. I'm not. I'm not. Right. Boston and I don't even remember. And, and, Houston. and Houston, two good wins. Okay. Boston and Houston. But but do you know where they? This is the part that that's mind boggling. The Boston game, you had Rondo hit a game when he shot that he's never done in the. In well, his you whole are time. taking them away. No, then. hold on. You, you, no, I mean, me you, you just said I'm out. not taking them away. A not. win is a win. Just hear me out. You I'm know not. that. You've covered the NBA long I enough. I know. 1987. <laughs> and the other one is Houston has to go 20 minutes without a free throw for them to win by five at home. So all I'm saying is other they haven't won like to me. But let's just take those one, wins away. One then. convincing right. win. Since LeBron no, has been back. No, two wins. No. Two wins no over two wins. of the top teams in the league. But the bad – I mean, uh, you you got enough bad to point to. There's you a, don't have to plenty. point to the wins. Yeah, I want to take those away I know, as well. it's like, you come know, on, dude. I want it all. You, you. But here's the other part I'm going to say to you, and this is what you're probably not ready for. But I, I it's, it's more and more every day I'm convinced. The Lakers made a mistake bringing LeBron James Stop here. it! You hear me? Stop it, Rob Parker. <laughs> It is a mistake. The Lakers just got the best player in the world, and even if he's not right now, you know, if people want to say second, third, whatever, one of the best players in the world. Here's my here's my reasons why. Because of what has to happen here, and Chris, you can talk about a four year deal, and he made a commitment to L. A. He made you relevant, all right. But the only the problem least, is, he made and I Lakers said this relevant. from the beginning. If they don't win within his first two years, they're not winning here, and I'm convinced more now than ever, that if it's not going to happen here because of the way it's set up and you have to give away. When LeBron leaves in four years, they not only won't have a championship, but they won't have these young guys that they were able to what get. What if they have Anthony Davis? Because, but that, that that's not going to be enough for me. Well, he'll get Le- more people. Well, I'm just saying. And then the, the idea that LeBron came here without his moves in place, which he's never done. He usually knows, even when he went back to Cleveland – he knew he was that what you call uh, was going to be traded. Who went to no, Minnesota? No, yeah, Andrew was, Wiggins for Kevin Wiggins. Love. That was all. Yep. He knew that. Even when he wrote his letter to everybody, what did he say, Chris? He didn't even mention Wiggins. Remember that? It oh yeah, he mention. knew Wiggins was out. He knew Wiggins was out. But my point is, the Lakers where they are are going to be stuck, and it's going to be a bad thing. Right now, 
Nobody, not Chris Broussard, not no, Magic I, Jets. I think they're Johnson, making the playoffs. Not is that what you're going to say? Rob Palenka thought that they would be in the spot that they're well, in. they're in the spot because they got in, LeBron got injured. No, but that, that is why they're in the spot. Now. He's back now. I know I'm not saying they're Stop. world beaters with him, but they would be in the playoffs. You the, can't deny that. The, Lakers the record are, proves it. The Lakers are Take bad. away the 6-12 and 12 and they're in the playoffs. Now, do you disagree with this statement that the, right now the Lakers are bad with or without uh, LeBron James. Uh, no, because they were good the other night they're, against Houston. They were bad Saturday. So I, I don't know what they, they were are. bad against I'm not Atlanta. Ready to say they're bad. I'm, I know they have a, a record that's well they above They were bad 500. against Indiana. They were bad against And they were good against Boston. And here's the other problem. It, it, they, they're well above 500 Le- and in, securely in the Western Conference playoffs if LeBron doesn't get hurt. LeBron that's came all I know. here with all this stuff, all these projects and all this other announcements and all that. But then he's going to frown at other guys who are dropping records and producing and doing their but own stuff. To his and then point, point. He, he's produced on the court no, before. No, I'm just saying. And all the guys, Shaq, and here, Iverson, I don't Kobe, care about all that. I'm talking about this rapping, team with the young guys. Before they started rapping no. and dropping videos, they delivered and, on the court. Lonzo's out there rapping like he's won an MVP award. And, here, and here's the other thing. He can't. Ask, he can't even be healthy. He can't ask other people to play defense when he won't play a lick of it. He won't. LeBron James won't play a lick of defense. All right, Rob Parker. If I was a Laker fan, I would throw up in my mouth watching him on the defensive end. You throw up in sick. your mouth a lot. That's how bad it is. <laughs> you throw up in your mouth every two shows. <laughs> All right, it's your turn to weigh, and we gonna get more into that. You you dropped a bomb. The Lakers should not have signed LeBron James. Are you serious? Are we talking about the Lakers right now if they don't have LeBron James? Are they on national TV all the time if they don't have LeBron James? Are they in the Anthony Davis sweepstakes if they don't have LeBron James?